These are some frequently asked questions about the Oticon Amigo Personal FM system. How do I turn the system on? Press and hold the power button. A number will be displayed on the screen and a constant red LED will confirm on status. This button is also the off button. What does the number on the screen mean? This number is the channel on which the FM system is transmitting its signal. If there are a number of personal FM systems being used in your school, be sure to contact an audiologist in this regard. Can I mute the microphone? Yes. Quickly press the on or power button. A flashing red LED will confirm mute status. An icon of a microphone with a line through it will also be displayed on the screen. To unmute, quickly press the on button again. Where do I clip the microphone? The lapel microphone should be clipped at the sternum level and as medially as possible. Be sure not to wrap the cord around the body of the transmitter. It must hang freely as it is also the system's antenna. Please note that it is absolutely critical that the microphone is not rubbing on any clothing, jewelry, lanyards, or papers. This noise actually creates more hearing difficulties and students report it to be extremely distracting. Is there any way to tell if the system is working? There is a small blinking or constant red light on the student's receiver attached to their hearing aid. This blinking red light will mean that information is being transmitted from the microphone to the student's hearing aids. Be aware, however, as it does not tell us anything about the sound quality of the speech signal. What kind of batteries does the Amigo use? The Amigo uses short-sleeved AA rechargeable batteries. It is important to use Oticom batteries so that a voltage mismatch does not occur. These batteries are available from Oticon or the student's dispensing audiology clinic. Do I have to charge the, tr the transmitter? The family and school need to discuss where the FM system will be charged. If the system is only being used at school, it will need to be charged at the end of each school day. If the FM system is being used and charged at home, it will need to go back and forth to school on a daily basis. If the FM system does not arrive at school, please contact the family immediately. The importance of, the F of FM use in the classroom cannot be overstated. How do I charge the system? What if it's left plugged in over spring break? Simply plug the charger into the USB charging port. You cannot overcharge the transmitter. Can I tell if the battery is running low? Yes, the LED will display a flashing green light. This indicates a low battery. Please charge the transmitter. How can my student plug into a computer or iPad? Connect one end of the audio cord to the auxiliary output jack and the other end to the external source, such as the computer. Be sure that the volume of the external source is turned to the maximum level. There are other buttons on the transmitter. Do I need to know about those? These buttons are for the audiologist to make adjustments to the FM system. You don't need to worry about them. Knowing how to turn the FM system on and muting it are a great start. For more information about the Oticon Amigo Personal FM system, please see the following link.